Hey guys, I've been a little bit slow on putting out videos this last week or so, but I have been focused on the Norseman Lock Pickers Challenge Locks. And I've got three of them left, two green tagged ones and one red tagged one. This is one I've been working on pretty much every night with uh, no luck yet. I've come close, but uh, no luck. But anyway, I got a package from Adam in Ontario, and he says, hey, I've got a couple locks I want to send you. Uh, I'd like to see you open those. And so I thought, wow, finally I get something I can you know, build up my confidence with. And then I open the box and I find two beautiful abloys, two different models, a 330 and a 230. And I find a guard lock. Now I can tell you I'm not going to be able to pick abloys. I don't know anybody that can, quite honestly. So uh, the only hope that I have for the confidence builder will be this guard lock. Uh, this is what the key looks like. Get a backing here. So we should, we might be able to rake it. Uh, I have opened a guard lock before, but uh, had no security pins in it. But he tells me in the email this one does indeed have security pins in it. So we're going to find out. Let me get everything set here, and we'll try. We'll try Dan's homemade. That ought to fit. And I will try a Peterson reach. It's a nice, wide, tall keyway. Got plenty of room to get in there with a Peterson gem, a thick one to give us plenty of leverage. So let's see if we can't do a little confidence, a little boost in our abilities here. After Norseman Lockpicker has destroyed them. Okay, I'm looking for a bind. Feels like pin number one is a binder. Okay, got a little click out of him. Try to rake him in a minute. I think I just dropped pin one. Okay, that was four. And there we go, pin two, that was a gatekeeper. Probably a standard pin. There's like one, I'm getting some counter rotation, so he's a spool. In my experience, these guards don't have security pins, but I think Adam is right. Definitely a spool. Let's see if I can get on him. And there we go. Alright, let's find out who wants to be picked next. I'm on pin... 3. A little bit of counter-rotation there. There's another spool, perhaps. Okay, it feels like one fell. Okay, I've got him. All right, I am on. I'm bumping against four. He's stuck on the very bottom, but as I jam the pick in against the bottom, I can feel a little bit of feedback on the tension wrench, which tells me he probably is also a security pin. And he was. That was of another spool. And the last one is pin five. A little bit of counter rotation. So another. Looks like another spool. Four spools and one standard in this guard lock. Kind of unusual. Oh. Let's see, we must have, uh, our gatekeeper might have dropped down on us here. Or we want to overset five. Did I find somebody with some feedback. There we go, I got five. Didn't quite have them set. But now it looks like somebody else has fallen down. It's three. And it feels like one. Our gatekeeper definitely got him out of sequence. Maybe I should go back to the Norseman lock pickers locks. Maybe a little easier than this guard. One four. To get under him. And uh, there we go. Wow, that was quite a bit of a more of a challenge than I thought uh, we were going to get from this guard lock. So, Adam, you're right. This thing definitely has four spool pins and feels like one standard pin. And clearly, I got this out of the picked it in the wrong sequence, but 
Hey, we got it. My confidence is back up. Time to get back to the Norseman Lock Pickers Challenge Locks. Thanks, fellas. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Adam, thank you for the locks, and I hope someday I am a decent enough lock picker to open these ad boys. I got all the special tools. I just can't do it yet, but we're going to keep at it. Thanks, guys. What's up? It's your boy Schizo Voice, professional beatboxer here, reminding you to subscribe to Bosnian Bill. All right? So check it out. Subscribe to Bosnian Bill.